Hello student. So let us start our discussion. In previous video, we have discussed asynchronous data transfer using strobe. And what was the limitation? We didn't have any acknowledgement mechanism using which we can uh, figure out that uh, whether the data is properly received by receiver or not. Okay, so to overcome this problem, uh, we will go with the handshaking. So in handshaking instead of two wire here we will use three wire okay as you can see let's uh, discuss source initiated data transfer using asynchronous data transfer using handshaking so uh, here in source initiated data transfer uh, as you can see uh, source and uh, between source and your destination there are three wires data bus data valid and data accepted so uh, let us just try to understand that uh, how this will work here uh, destination means source will initiate the transfer so first uh, source will put data on the bus okay so here source will place data on bus okay and after placing data on bus it will enable the data valid yes so what will happen once the data uh, is placed on data bus and uh, data valid is enabled as soon as destination will receive that uh, information okay via data valid so what uh, destination will do destination will accept data from bus okay and uh, as soon as it will start reading the data from the bus okay here you can see data bus then data valid so as soon as it will start reading the data okay destination will uh, enable the data accepted okay so after accepting the data it will enable the data accepted yes so uh, once uh, let's say source is done with the transfer okay what source will do it will disable the data valid okay so source will uh, disable the data valid as you can see here okay and uh, invalidate the data on the data bus so after disabling it it will invalidate the data on the data bus okay so here invalidate data on data bus okay so after invalidating the data what destination will do it will disable the uh, data accepted so what destination will do disable data accepted okay and again it is uh, ready for the next transmission or next transfer here okay let me try to quickly uh, revise this thing here first source will place data on data bus and then it will inform destination that now there is a valid data on data bus okay so it will inform destination by data valid so as soon as it will as soon as destination will get the acknowledgement from the source okay uh, it will accept the data from the data bus so it will start reading data from the data bus now uh, and then it will acknowledge the source by enabling the data accepted now after some time uh, source will uh, disable the data valid so it will set the value of data valid to zero okay as you can see in the figure so during this time 
means after uh, enabling the data valid okay destination will start reading it and after some time it will enable the data accepted then after some time uh, source will uh, disable the data valid means it will uh, tell destination that uh, now data is not valid okay and uh, then invalidate the data on the database means it will remove the data from the database and then destination will uh, disable the data accepted so after invalidating the data and removing data from the database uh, destination will disable the value of data accepted okay and uh, after that uh, destination is again or source is again ready for the next transmission here uh, what will be the advantage this data transfer will take place uh, on the basis of speed of uh, destination okay so here speed will be selected for uh, it will be selected on the basis of lower operating device okay so uh, the speed of this uh, data transfer will be the speed of lower sp uh, low speed data uh, low speed device here let's have a look at the destination what will happen in uh, destination so uh, in destination it will be initiated by destination so what will be the first step destination will tell source that it is ready for the data okay so destination will tell ready for data okay destination is ready to accept the data and it will enable the ready for data yes so after uh, destination is ready for data it will uh, enable the ready for data so what source will do after receiving ready for data source will put data on data bus and then it will valid the data means it will set the value of data valid to one okay so it will source will place data on data bus and it will inform destination that now you can read the data from the data bus and it is valid data okay so here what uh, source will do place data on bus and next step will be enable the data valid yes how this uh, data transfer will over here you can see destination means after reading data uh, from data bus destination will disable the ready for data okay so uh, data is accepted from the data bus means data read from bus and then disable ready for data okay so it will disable the ready for data and once uh, disable uh, means destination will disable ready for data what source will do it will disable the data valid means it will invalidate the data by disabling the data valid and then it will remove data from the data bus okay so what destination uh, source will do it will disable data valid and then invalidate the data on bus yes so this is what we can say uh, hand checking okay here you can see uh, there will be two way communication between uh, source and destination uh, using acknowledgement so source will have idea that uh, data is received by uh, destination here uh, what can be the problem okay here receiver or the destination cannot have any mechanism uh, by which it will acknowledge the source that there is error any there is any error in data or there is any problem 
okay uh, another problem is that uh, if this any of this line let's say data accepted line or uh, ready for data line is not working okay in that case uh, this transfer will uh, not take properly uh, uh, this transfer will not take place properly in case of destination or uh, initiated let's say if ready for data line is uh, broken then source will never initiate the transfer why because uh, tra transfer will uh, start after receiving ready for data signal okay so and uh, here source will always place data why because source will never know that if this line is broken then source will never know that uh, whether the data is accepted by destination or not okay so uh, these are the uh, some of the issue which are uh, with the asynchronous data transfer using and checking so in this tutorial uh, we will keep up to this and uh, in next uh, tutorial or in next lecture we will uh, discuss what is asynchronous serial transfer thank you